to thank you all for coming out here. It's really awesome to see Broncos come together to honor Nikita. And we're here to honor and remember those who died, were injured, or were hospitaled at the OSU Homecoming Parade. This candlelight vigil is by its definition and by its intention a remembrance, remembrance of Nikita. Our candles soon to be lit, bright and flaming, yet small and all too extinguishable, will burn this wonderful early autumn e evening. Uh, as an international students, we travel many, many miles to come to Oklahoma and to pursue our dream. And it is truly tragic uh, what happened. And I'm really thankful that everyone turned out here today um, to celebrate her life and share her uh, memories about her. And I'm just really thankful that uh, you all are here today. Um, I'm the president of Indian Student Association. I'm here part of, uh, behalf of ISA, I would like to give or extend our thoughts and prayers to everyone who was impacted in our um, tragic event, including Nikita Nahal. Um, she will truly be missed by UCO. The only fond memory that I have of Nikita was her walking around on campus with this beautiful smile. And the other memory that all of us share together is of her not too long ago posting about finding a third roommate. She and her roommates were looking for another roommate. So that post is still there on the Indian Student Association's page. Uh, so we are definitely devastated, but at the same time, we want to appreciate everybody here in the state of Oklahoma, all the, all the people that send their thoughts, their prayers, and just the Oklahoma standard as a whole. Uh, your compassion has really moved us, and I'm pretty sure that the family uh, appreciates your thoughts and prayers in this tragic, uh, in this tragic event. So. Her dream was to obtain this NBA diploma um, and like proceed her future uh, financial or banking um, career. So therefore, I would like to ask President of UCO uh, to grant her MBA diploma because she deserves it. And uh, I believe, I truly believe that she will get this, she would get this diploma anyway. And because it was her goal and the reason uh, she came to this country. Like, there was never a doubt moment with her and uh, despite the fact that we were both from different parts of the world, it's amazing how we just connected and we just kicked off like that. And I just want to say that I really miss Nikita and I love her and I just want everybody to know that, you know, we've lost a great person. Thank you. She was always a very happy person. She was never in a bad mood. She never had a bad day. Um, the class isn't going to be the same without her, so. I'm not sure I'm going to say everything I feel about her now, but I'm going to try. I uh, just want to say that Nikita, she was a very special person. And as uh, Dimitri said, in a short period of time, we could, uh, we were able to become real close friends. We were studying together, we were laughing together. We spent a lot of time together, and this tragedy, it was really unexpected, and uh, all the class was shocked and all we can do now is celebrate her life. She was waiting for the winter to start because she wanted to experience uh, American snowfall. I still always see her uh, starting in the library really hard working. She used to worry about how difficult the MBA is going to be and I remember telling her, yeah, don't worry, it's just a year and a half, you're gonna get through this. I mean, it's always you're studying, so really hard working and good with making friends. So I'm gonna ask that we turn on our candles and we're gonna have five minutes of silence to remember, meditate, and pray for Nikita and the other victims we lost. Heavenly Father, I know that there's no sense to be made of the events that have caused us to be gathered here tonight. So much pain and senseless loss came so quickly and unexpectedly. We need you to show us the path to comfort. Tragedy and loss has paid us a visit. Hopes and beliefs have been challenged. Sadness for some of the closest friends and family waits at every turn. But Father, help the healing to begin. Bless our hearts with hope and understanding bring comfort to family, friends, and our community. 
Help us not to lean on our own understanding, but to lean on you and to lean on each other. I pray, God, that you would lead us in ways to bring comfort to each other and help us to heal and be able to remember fondly the time that we did have together. God, we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen.